and true to those revelations, they indeed rose up against him. And since then, we have been praying as a people from different religions, interceding, fasting, and waiting on God. My dear brethren, we must admit that we went to bed sleeping and snoring, forgetting what the scripture says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 10. A little sleep, a little slumber. And today the enemies are trying to regroup, to cause havoc and disaffection in the polity, but they will not succeed by the grace of God in Jesus' name. The attempt by the political agents of darkness to bring back another round of killings in the Northeast, especially in Borno State, necessitated the need for us to come together as brethren to pray and to call upon God. The killing of the vice chairman of Khan of Muchika and a young man, a student, that was going back to school in Maiduguri, that innocent soul that was eliminated, prompted us so that we can pray and raise our voices to the God of heaven to rise on the sake of our president so that he will put all those agents of darkness to shame. Brethren, on this grand finale, we say that God is indeed on the throne with great revelations that is reaching us. We are glad to undertook this task on behalf of our president and our dear nation at large. The composition of this garden alone is an indication that God loved Nigeria and that indeed Christians and Muslims can come together under one room for the common good of our dear nation Nigeria. Verily Allah has put them to shame. Who are those? Those that want to tear our country apart by using religion or tribal sentiment or political sentiment. Indeed, they have tried so many times by making sure that our country does not remain one ent entity. Not only within, even outside forces are trying to see how they can destroy our country, but Almighty Allah is indeed with our country, Nigeria, and behind our dear President Muhammad Buhari. We stand in the gate in order to take our dead ones back to life. Tonight we take our country back to life. In the name of Jesus, we decree peace over this land. In the name of Jesus, we decree over tonight that you will go to our leaders. Father, do you give them a revelation of you, of how you want to run this nation.